Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carace.net, and in this video we are going to be reviewing the Gingerbread 2.3 Android keyboard um, for the Android operating system. And what you see in front of you is an AT&T Captivate running the leaked Froyo 2.2 build, and this launcher is Zeem, Z-E-A-M. Um, if you're wondering which weather app this is, um, you can go to our site www.carace.net and we just posted an article on how to edit third-party APKs and this is actually the Weather Channels app with some of our own custom rain and cloud icons and then custom backgrounds. So you can make some really cool changes to existing apps there and I definitely recommend you checking out that article. Uh, but back to the gingerbread keyboard, let's jump into Handsent. Um, we also recently did an article comparing all the best SMS apps. So Again, go to carries.net if you want to see that. Um, so to install the Gingerbread app, uh, the link will be on our article. Um, you basically just download an APK from the XDA forums. And you, if you have a phone that is enabled to install non-market APKs, then you can just download it straight to your phone and install it right away. Otherwise, if you have a Galaxy S device that's a US-based one, um, download it to your computer and then follow the USB ADB setup on how to force install uh, non-market APKs. Uh, once you have it installed, you can head into the settings, go to your locale and text first, or if you see something else, basically it has that little um, A next to it, kind of like a keyboard key. Uh, scroll down, make sure the gingerboard keyboard is checked, um, and then you're good to go. So. Going back to our hand sent, we'll compose a new message. For the first time, you hold down on an input field. Come on. And then you can choose input method and then choose the gingerbread keyboard. So we'll go into this text field and here we go. Um, the gingerbread keyboard is very nice. Uh, the response time on it is great and it really knows where you're trying to press even if you don't necessarily press the exact key. So for um, bigger fingered, hands. Uh, this is a great feature. Another cool thing is with the period you can hold and long press and then your selection appears intuitively above your fingers so your fingers not over things and you can't see it. Instead it appears above it so you can actually see what you're going to select and not select something incorrect. So that's a pretty cool feature of the gingerbread keyboard. Um, so we'll backspace there. Again if you choose it like this you have a whole area underneath to choose and then you have a blank spot. So going back up Again, it's great that they put the selection above it. Um, so if we type out, you know, if we want to, we can do it this way. Or we can click up here. Another really cool feature that you do have to enable, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, is when you click anywhere on a word, it will allow you to not only edit that specific spot, but it will also give you options to choose a different word. So for example, if I click in the middle of viewers, I can edit that specific spot. I can drag this over to highlight. Um, again, I have those options right there. Or again, if I just click one little spot, it'll bring up, maybe I meant to say viewed or viewer. Um, so that's a really cool feature. I'll show you how to enable that in a second. Um, another cool feature to enable is this swipe kind of change languages on the space bar. So really kind of cool, it shows you um, the ability to switch to different languages and kind of gives you this ability up here uh, to switch between multiple ones, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, all enabled in the settings. And then from there it has basic, you can do the six or um, different versions of Y above that with, with all of those characters, uh, you can go to your caps locks by making sure that green lit the green light is on um, going to your ABC again gives you or your numbers will give you your basic numbers going to alt will hold it on these and finally you can do these different um, excuse me character sets like the triple triple period or square root anything like that so let's go back up into here okay so the settings um, it also has pretty Pretty sweet uh, voice to text. Let's try that out. Hello, Carace viewers. 
Oh, so right there, like I said, we have a problem. So we can go into Terry. Um, and it doesn't actually give us a way to change that. So we can go back or we could have highlighted it and then edited it from there. So again, um, great features on the gingerbread keyboard going into here. Um, touch to correct words is what I was talking about before when I hit viewers and it gave me all those options below. So definitely make sure you enable that feature. Um, the voice input is another place that you can mess around uh, with either enabling or putting the mic on the main keyboard. Input languages where you can change what ones are available when you swipe the spacebar as you saw me do earlier. So go here to check out the different languages that are available. Um, and finally it has the kind of standard keyboard settings of uh, show suggestions, quick fixes, auto complete, auto capitalization, and vibrate and sound on key press. So that is the Gingerbread 2.3 keyboard that has been ported over to any Android operating system, I believe 2.1 and above, but correct me in the comments and I'll put a message on here. Uh, go to www.carace.net and search for Ultimate Keyboard uh, to get our review of 14 different keyboards for the Android operating system. Uh, there's another four keyboards on the docket to add to that, so make sure you check it out soon. Um, and we'll be adding ones all the time as new versions and new kinds of keyboards appear on the market. Uh, thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions or comments below. Thanks.